Yeah. <laughs> okay, so that guy I did a video on, Samir Bhavnani. He's the guy that copies Darman and then he deep faked Denzel Washington into one of his videos for some reason. Well, I was watching another one of his videos and I and I came upon this scene. Oh my god, Samir Bhavnani just uploaded a new video. Oh my god, I love his videos. Oh my god, Nancy, you're a subscriber too? Of course I am. What's this one about? That's exactly how all of your conversations must go when I post a new video, right? Right? Just, oh my gosh, Cody Ko has posted a new video. No way, I love Cody Ko. What? I didn't know you were also a subscriber. Yes, of course, I love Cody Ko. What is this one about? I don't know, it's probably some stupid cut reaction again. Haha, <laughs> totally. He's such a little turd. He is a turd, you nailed it. That's how your conversations go. The title says, Guy Tasers Pregnant Woman for a PlayStation 5. Oh my god, people are so savage. I'm sorry, what's good? Man tasers woman for a PlayStation 5? And then her response is, oh my God, people are so savage. I don't think that's savage. <laughs> savage kind of has a positive connotation to it, doesn't it? That's not savage, that's evil. Tasering a pregnant woman? Is there anything worse than that? I'm just glad that he's sharing these videos to spread a positive message. Yeah, and he's so hot. Too bad he's married. Mm-hmm, he's so fine. I'm sorry, what just happened there? Did you just have two actresses call yourself hot in your own script that you wrote? Because that is savage, my guy. <laughs> Absolute legend. It's also pretty weird. Also, I like that she just assumed that there was a positive message in the video titled, Man Tasers Pregnant Woman for a PS5. Because to me, that sounds like only bad things happen. On his other channel, American Justice Warriors, he goes by the name Big D. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what the D stands for. I heard it stands for daddy. <laughs> what am I watching right now? Samir, is your wife cool with this dude? Is this some sort of weird fantasy that you're playing out in your own script? I'm so confused. And what is this second channel they just mentioned? American Justice Warriors? What is that? <laughs> Oh, I thought it stood for- Kelly, click it. I didn't miss lunch to watch his videos. Uh, an ad, I have to wait five secs to skip it. Uh, I have to wait five secs to skip it. <laughs> she said sex. <laughs> Let's go, dude. I know this is unusual, but before we start today's video, we have a sponsor, Raid Shadow Legends. What is this adception? I don't understand. Am I watching somebody else watch a brand deal on their phone? Huh. Wow. That really is crazy. But it actually reminds me of the sponsor of this video, which is ExpressVPN. Listen, you wouldn't go to the gym without socks on, right? So yeah, you could go to the gym without socks on, but you'd get blisters way easier. That's what using the internet without ExpressVPN is like. It's a bad metaphor. I'm so, just forget I said that. Big Tech, Google, Facebook, ever heard of them? They're tracking everything you do, okay? ExpressVPN secures your internet connection. So you can't be tracked by big tech or your ISP, for example. They can't see what websites you're going to. I'm not saying you go to weird shit, but we all end up in weird places online every once in a while. All you gotta do is hit a button and ExpressVPN reroutes all of your network data through their secure servers so that they can't monitor your online activity anymore. It's easy. And if you wanna give it a try, then uh, you can get three months free if you hit the link in the description. All right, back to the video. See you over there. Okay, so they never mentioned what the American Justice Warriors channel was, but I am insanely intrigued right now. So let's do a little digging. American Justice Warriors, description, serving justice when the justice system fails. Check out our popular series to catch a thief, mother reacts, and more. Hashtag American Justice Warriors. Sick. Uh. Okay, let's watch this video. Will he marry a thief? Ultimate marriage test. To catch a thief, American Justice Warriors. Hashtag justice, hashtag to catch a thief, hashtag money drop. Dang. Let's get today's video 30,000 likes so we can all show everyone how much we love serving justice. And hit the notification icon. And leave a comment. This is all our Instagram personal ones. Feel what, what the fuck is this? Why is it edited like this? This is insane. Why is this guy's face censored? Who is Weapon X? Why is he wearing a pineapple shirt? Oh, we got Big D back. <laughs> Why does he call himself Big D? That's so fucking weird. You're like a dad, dude. Who is Jerry? Who is Jerry? 
I want to know who Jerry is. And why is this yellow caption blocking their Instagram accounts? I can't actually see them. I'm scared of this already. Why does this look like a weird, like, North Korean propaganda video? Feel free to add any of us so we can grow our Instagrams and show you guys more behind the scenes of catching thieves. Hit subscribe if you support American Justice Warriors. Ugh, this is wild. All right, let's see what happens. Because of the popularity of last week's video, we decided to put some more people to the test. This time, couples. Oh my god, the amount of fucking like, notification bells and watermarks and title cards. I'm, I'm overwhelmed. My brain, I feel like I'm gonna have a seizure or something. I feel like I'm watching like a weird infomercial. Today we meet Marcus and Delilah. I've been dating my girlfriend Delilah. <laughs> Marcus Kyle, <laughs> Chad name to the fullest, 32 years old, enjoys surfing, Delilah B, 28 years old, from South Africa, hell yeah. <laughs> hey, what do you like to do for fun, Delilah? Oh, well, I like to be from South Africa, mostly. Delilah for a year and a half now, and I'm thinking about proposing to her. Can you stop filming hey. me? Marcus and Delilah have- Okay, right away, we got a good impression of her, I'd say. Good first impression, you know? He's like, I'm thinking about marrying her. And then it switches to hers. And she's Stop filming me! Stop filming me! Seems like you're trying to condition us to maybe think she's not a good person, Samir. <laughs> well, it's working, because she's a bitch. What is this? What is this editing? Look at this. Stock footage of people getting married in the top frame, and then in the bottom frame, you got Marcus Kyle just being a Chad. Marcus and Delilah have been dating for about two years, and Marcus feels it's finally time to pop the question and ask Delilah to marry him. Just fucking... <laughs> Hey, uh, am I married to a fucking dirty thief? Guess we'll find out. Uh, hi. Family always joke that I'm only dating her for her looks and that her personality is a bit sketchy. About six months ago, I took Delilah to a barbecue at my family's house and some of my mother's jewelry went missing. Now, I'm not saying I think it was her, but it's a family barbecue. Who else would have taken it? We all blamed it on my Uncle Leonard. She even demands. <laughs> oh my God. Poor Uncle Leonard, man. <laughs> Poor guy. There I say it. I don't think this is a better phrase, but my man caught a stray. He caught a stray. He's, what is he doing? What's he doing right now? He didn't steal nothing. He's sitting there eating a TV dinner. Fucking just, huh? What did I do? That I introduce her as my African-American girlfriend to all of my friends. And Fun fact, Elon Musk is also African-American. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for that weird... Snapple fact? That has nothing to do with this video, and I don't think the fact that she's African-American has anything to do with the video either. This is the woman that I'm gonna spend the rest of my life with and raise our children with. I can't have her have morals that are out of line with my own. I don't want my kids picking up these habits. I really hope she passes this test because I have the ring ready and I can't marry a thief. I brought it right here. It's currently in my pocket, so we'll see. If she passes this test, I'm proposing on the spot for Samir Bhavnani's YouTube video. Hopefully she's cool with that. As usual, to set up this test, we have Marcus bring Delilah to our park bench where we have several hidden cameras set up ready to film what's going to take place. That's, that's a hidden camera? <laughs> Come on. Some fucking Jerry, it's probably Jerry, just holding a camera just in the, in the bushes in plain sight. Are you gonna steal it or what? It's a hundred bucks, come on. You're hot, by the way. Mark is instructed to make an excuse so Delilah stays at the park bench and instead of going to the restroom, he joins us in our car. Oh my god, look at this classic YouTuber car. What is that, a fucking McLaren or something? <laughs> uh, now we know why you started this channel, dude. We are watching the hidden cameras live. Hold on, hold on. You're telling me this is the inside to this car? Dude, this car has fucking butterfly doors. This is like an exotic ass car. Know. And then they just transport to the inside of a Prius. Watching the hidden cameras live to see just how Delilah does on this test. What are you gonna do if she takes the money? Off? Honestly, I'm just hoping that that doesn't happen. So as we told you in the beginning of this, and we're gonna explain to the viewers that there's a few phases we're gonna do to test your girlfriend today. First, we're gonna have Jerry go ahead and start running. Um, can you go ahead and just- Ah, this is the running Jerry phase, got it. Send him a, a message. So there's our jogger, Jerry. He's gonna go ahead and run in. He's gonna drop the money and we're gonna see if she's gonna take it or not and give it back to him. As before, we have our actor and jogger, Jerry, who's gonna be helping us with this experiment. Okay. Okay, so it's all cleared up now. That's who Jerry is, sorry. You know, before I was like, who is Jerry? But he's the jogger. He's the jogger. This is jogger Jerry. Yeah. Jerry runs past Delilah, dropping money.
Delilah notices the cat. Is she gonna steal the money or is she gonna return it to our jogger? Fuck. Fuck, what's she gonna do? And be the honest princess that Marcus hopes that she is. Let's see what she does next. What? She just stepped on it. She stepped on it! What the fuck? Dude, she stepped on the money. She stepped on it. She literally stepped on it. I can't believe she stepped on it. Yeah, I mean, she's probably just stopping it from the wind blowing it. Ah, it's the wind, it's the wind, duh. It's probably just stopping it from the wind blowing it. Yeah, it's pretty windy. She has, oh, see, she's Excuse calling me, him sir. back. She's calling yeah. him back. She's calling him back. I think back. your shoelaces are untied. Oh, thank you. All right, wait, what? It's a shoelace is untied. She's not telling him anything else. <laughs> I, I just, I, if you were stealing money from someone that just dropped it on the ground, would you really wave them down to tell them their shoelaces were untied? Or would you try to get away with the crime you just committed, dumbass? Hey there, Delilah. Ever heard about being a smooth criminal? Fucking two song references in one line. I mean, I'm just on my shit right now. She's putting it in her bag now. I mean, it looks like she's taking the money. Um, I mean, I'm, I myself am pretty shocked. How? There's an... Oh, man. Yeah, I'm like, shaky. Dude, me too, man. Fuck, man, how can anyone steal money like that, dude? <laughs> so fucked up, dude. She didn't cheat on you, man. Maybe she's just a little klepto, you know? Maybe she's got sticky fingers. I'd say this is a conversation, probably. I'd say, I'd say you don't have to not marry her. I'd say it's just like, hey, that's not cool. What's up? You know? But he's pretty bent out of shape about it. Yeah, this I is don't know. pretty shocking to catch this thing. We're gonna go ahead and give her another chance right now. She does have the opportunity to redeem herself. We're gonna have Jerry go in right now, our jogger, and tell her that. Jerry, who is the jogger, by the way? Jerry the jogger. So, Jerry the jogger. Jogger Jerry. He really needs the money and how desperately he needs the money. I mean, when she hears that, she's gotta, she's uh, gonna I, give it back. I would think so. She's a good girl, she's kind. I mean, if they can lie to someone eye to eye, that's something else, man. Okay, we're gonna have Jerry go ahead, go back in right now, and he's gonna see if uh, she's gonna return the money. Is this phase two, Samir? What phase is this? What's going on? To him. Hi, excuse me, miss. Um, did you happen to see some uh, money fall down earlier? It was kind of a lot of money. No, I didn't. I'm sorry. Really? I'm gonna have him explain to her right now about that. He, he's gonna be homeless. It's part of his rent money. There's no way she could hear that from somebody and keep. It's your girlfriend, man. You're dating her. It... What the fuck, Samir? <laughs> what the fuck? A little dig there. It's your fucking girlfriend, dumbass. You're the one that's dating a stealing bitch. And I really need yeah. this money to pay for rent. My girlfriend's gonna kill me, literally. Gosh, I'm so sorry. Let yeah. me look. No. Yeah. Dude, I'm sorry. Did you not hear her? His girlfriend is gonna literally kill him. His life is on the line right now. Delilah? Delilah? And you're gonna you're gonna double down on this? You're just not the woman I thought you were. Well, I, I can take your number and if she's I'm taking out his number. Yeah, I don't know if that's like means she's gonna. Talk, give him the money the later. What do you mean she's, what you think she's like plan? Like, oh, I'll, I'll call you if I find it kind of a thing? Yeah, I think she's just going along with that. I think she seems to be a professional. A professional liar? What the fuck is that? <laughs> yeah, I have a license to lie. Also, her face right here suggests that she likes the way that Jerry jogs. Let's just say that. Look at that. She's, mm. Jerry Bear, the way he walks. God damn those cargo pants. Mm. Okay, so the next phase is Marcus Kyle uh, goes to confront her and basically is like, hey, what's up? And she's like, he's like, babe, I found 200 bucks. I'm gonna take us out to eat. And he's like, what do you mean you just found 200 bucks? You just found it? What do you mean? She's like, yeah, I found it. I'm gonna take us out to eat. Take us to lunch. Was, did someone drop it? Did, it has to belong to someone. She's totally hey, lying. I don't know. I'm telling you that I found I mean, She's not really lying. She did find 200 bucks. She did find it. She found it on the ground. Just saying, Samir. $200 on the floor. It's my lucky day. It looks like she's just saying she found the money. It doesn't belong to anybody. So she's kind of saline. That's interesting. What we're going to do is go ahead and have our jogger Jerry go back now. This is where we have our jogger Jerry come back in. To okay, this is getting very complicated. Now jogger Jerry's back in. Jogger Jerry, 
Where was where the fuck was Jogger Jerry before? I mean, he was on a jog, wasn't he? I'm gonna be homeless. I really She's need the money, man. Like, I'm literally gonna be homeless. If I don't get that. Babe, this guy's going to be homeless. Babe, this guy is going to be homeless if you don't give the money back, babe. You know the best part about this is. A lot of these videos, or a lot of these actors are in his other videos, like his Darman type videos, which is great. You know, he's creating a little universe. Love it, the little Samir universe. It's now time for me to come out and confront Delilah with the truth. She's failed a test, man, and uh, at this point, we're just gonna have to go and confront her immediately before this stuff gets out of control. Okay. Oh, it's an I-8, that's how the car is. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. We gotta go confront her quickly. Hi, Delilah. Maybe I can explain things to you. My name is Big D. I'm an American Justice Warrior. Who, who, who do you think you are, Big D? Fucking John Quinones? What, what is this? What would you do, huh? Is that what this is? Ripping off Darman wasn't enough, huh? Now you gotta rip off the king himself? John Quinones? Unbelievable. And with a name like Big D, too. Have some respect. I'm mad. We're beefing, dude. And this has been an experiment that your boyfriend has set up to see if given an opportunity, would you steal someone's money? You know what's funny is that uh, the life lessons with Louise guy, his initial channel was to catch a cheater where he did the same type of video and then he moved on to copying Darman. And that's exactly what this guy did. This is to catch a thief. And then he did the, it's like, do these guys have a group chat where they're like, all right, what's the next format? <laughs> Let's. What's working for you guys? Let's, I gotta pay off these I-8 payments somehow. So w let's do it. What are we doing next? Did you, I'm done. Did you do it? Don't ever talk to me ever again. You? Delilah. Hey. I didn't take her. Delilah, hold on one second, Delilah. No. Delilah. I'm not giving the money back. It's $200. Yeah, He's gonna be homeless. So what? If it's not a big deal, you can return the money. No, it's mine. It's in my bag. It's not your money. <laughs> He's gonna be homeless. They're still, keeping up with the fact that this is not an, ex he just said it was an experiment, but then he's like, no, Jerry, Jerry actually fucking needs that money. All right, but <laughs> he's actually gonna be homeless. So you gotta give it back because I mean, my man is struggling right now, uh, you know. I'm not paying him by the way. Jerry just loves the job. So he just volunteered for this. So he really needs that 200 bucks. Can you stop filming hey, me? You already don't, got your don't, information. Don't, don't, don't hit him. him. Okay. You're already a thief today. Please return the money. No, or have to stop. Call the cops. Call the cops. Oh my gosh, what? What the fuck is going on with this editing? What the fuck? Luckily, we helped Marcus find the truth about his girlfriend, and he will not be proposing to her. His bit. Uh, uh, I'm single now, by the way. Uh, In a couple weeks, and we followed up with Marcus, and we found out since then he has broken up with Delilah and has not spoken to her, despite numerous phone calls she's left him. We were happy to help Marcus, and now, luckily, he's dodged a bullet from marrying a thief. Justice is served! And that's why it's called American Justice Warriors, baby! It's not the most glorious job, but it is necessary. If you enjoyed this episode and want to see more videos, please, let's try to get us 10,000 likes. So go ahead and smash that like button, subscribe to our channel, and ring that bell. Oh my god, I feel like this is like a GeoCities website from the early 2000s. This is wild. Bell. Really ding it, ding it, ding it, ding it, ding it. You don't forget to play video games every day, but you forget this. Look at this, what the fuck? There's so much shit on the screen right now. This looks like an infomercial now, now that he's advertising something else. And then the last thing he advertises is this new animation channel. <laughs> Again, it's like... It's like there must be a Discord or something where all these guys are like, all right, what else can we get kids to watch? Because that's where the fucking money is, baby. I mean, that's a hustle. That's an absolute hustle. I'm certainly not letting my kids watch this, but I mean, I'm, I'm glad that they're funding your I-8. Now you might be thinking, what do you mean kids? Kids watch this? Yeah, I mean, that's all, what are you talking about? I feel so bad for the guy because he wanted to propose to her. This channel should be called Relationship Beaker. I feel so bad for him. He just want a person to spend his life with. This guy learned a lot from his parents. Poor guy, he didn't deserve a girlfriend like that. Edit, holy, I didn't expect to get this much likes. <laughs> Man, imagine being excited to get YouTube comment likes. Couldn't be me. All right, guys, thank you for watching the Cody Co channel. This has been Big C, that's me, your host, Big C. The C stands for cock. And I'll see you in the next video. Okay, let's get to 2,000 likes, guys. 2,000 likes and 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 uh, comments too. 2,000 comments. 2,000 comments saying that you like the video. All right, bye. Later.